Sri Grubhyo Namaha. Welcome to the Online Teaching Academy, Ekaleva. So in the last session, you have read about the people as resources. So you have learnt about how people are considered as resources and how does the population become an asset for the economy rather than liability. So you have understood that through a story of villas and circle. And now we are going to step into the new concept that is the types of economic activities. So people do various activities in order to earn. So all these activities are known as the economic activities. So these economic activities are classified into three main sectors. So that is primary sector, secondary sector and treasury sectors. So let us see what, is the, uh, what are the things comes under the primary sector. So primary sectors includes agriculture, fishing, sorry, sorry. So the primary sector includes agriculture, fishing, mining, animal husbandry and quarrying. So why do these uh, uh, things are placed in primary sector? Because uh, the things which we consume in a larger amount are comes from the primary sectors only. So it is a base for all the other products which we consume. So it is placed under the primary sector. And moving on to the secondary sector, it includes manufacturing of goods. And here the raw materials are converted into a finished and the valuable products. So the secondary sector includes manufacturing of goods. Okay. Now moving on to the third one, treasury sector. So what are the things comes under the treasury? So it includes trade, transport, communication, banking, insurance, uh, health and education and lot more will come under the treasury sector. So from the primary and secondary, we will get some product. So the primary and secondary sectors produce goods, whereas the treasury sectors produce only the services. It do not produce any goods, but it provide services to the people because we used to communicate and we use transportation to go to go from uh, one place to another place. So we, we render service from these sectors. So these sectors are provides service only. So from all these economic activities, we get some goods or services. So the goods and services, so the goods and service which is produced by all the three sectors, it adds to the national economy. It adds to the national economy also okay so now uh, we will look at the market and non-market activity so the economic activity is also called as market activity so what is market activity so it involves remuneration to anyone who performs it so what is remuneration it is nothing but money paid for work. So market activity involves remuneration to anyone who performs this. For example, the activity performed for getting pay or profit. Okay. And what is this non-market activity? They are the production for the self-conception. It is not for the sale, it is for the self-conception. For example, if we take a case of villas. So villas sold fish in the market and earned money. We all know that. So what is the case here in villas? The villas fall into uh, villas. It comes under the villas doing the market activity so that he earned money. So the villas sold fish and earned money. Why? Because the villas enter into the market activity. He sold fish in the market, so he earned money. So the, uh, it is known as market activity. And if, if we take the same case of villas, if villas cooks food for his family means, 
it comes under the non market activity because he cooks food for his family member for the consumption of his family so it is comes under the non market activity the same wise uh, at home your mother also prepared the pickle and puppets it's not for the sale it's for the family consumption so it comes under the non market activity okay and now we are going to look at the economic activities by men and women so uh, for a long decades in india the society stereotypes the work of the women and men so how does it stereotypes the women have to look after the domestic chores whereas the men have to go out and earns for the family's need so the same thing happened in the sakal story the sakal mother sheela's look after his domestic chores and his father buta choudhury went out he was agricultural uh, he was a agriculturalist and he earns money from the agricultural activity so this is a case this is what this is how the society stereotype the work of the women and men and it is prevailed over for for long decades in india okay so the sheela does lot of works at home she cooks food she cleans utensils she washes the clothes she bring up the uh, children in a proper way she maintains the family and of course all these are the tough work done by the women at home but sheela is not paid for the work delivered at home because the sheela the contribution made by sheela is not adds to the uh, national economy but if you look at the case of vilas vilas mother geeta sold fish in the market and thus she earned she earned rupees 20 or 30 per day so the women are paid for their work when they entered into the labor market so the women are paid when they enter into the labor market okay so a majority of women have meager education so meager means i already told it is a low so low education or inadequate education so a majority of women have the meager education and low skill formation so that the women are paid low compared to men so women are paid low compared to the men so that the most of the women work where no job security so what is mean by no job security any time the owner can ask the employee to move out of the work without any reason so that is what we called as no job security so most of the women are work where there is no job security because they are lagging in education and they are lagging in the skill also so that only they are paid low and also they works in a unorganized sectors so the employment in this sector are characterized by the irregular and low income so the employment in this sector it is also known as unorganized sector so it is called as unorganized sector so in unorganized sectors only the people get irregular job and low income and there is no other facilities such as a maternity leave and paid uh, paid salary and all these things okay and they do not have the assurance for their job also so the the women who have the low education and low skill formation they are fallen to the cat they are works under the unorganized sectors so that they are not having any such facilities like medical leave or the or a provident fund or the job assurance but still the women with high education and high skill formation they are paid at par with men so what is this par here it is nothing but equal to okay so women with a high education and high skill formation they are getting the salary as equal to the men and nowadays we can see in lot of fields are women stepped in and even uh, we can see the women are stepped into the military they are in the post of the higher officials in the military too so they are stepped in lot of fields the trend has been changed so women nowadays they are exploring a lot in the various fields because of the education and the skill okay so uh, that's all for today's class children so we are going to wind up this session and today you have learnt about the different 
uh, economic activities and also you have learnt about market and non-market activity. Thank you children. Shri Gurubhyo Namaha.